Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach May with the US Penny Stock Highlights for Thursday, the 20th of August, starting off with the a Novis Bio, uh, which is uh, tentatively breaking that line of resistance from uh, uh, the end of July, also gapping through the 50-day line of $5, uh, let's call it $5.45. End of day close above uh, that level and the 50-day line could be enough to take the shares up to the top of that rising trend channel from March through uh, $7, hopefully as soon as uh, the next uh, two to four weeks. If we got off the ground, if you're cautious, I suppose wait for a clearance of the $6 area, which has been the initial August resistance, stop loss on the bull argument, back below $5.10, so uh, not too much uh, risk on that particular technical setup. Uh, next contender is um, Allied Esports Entertainment, which uh, I suppose uh, had a go at breaking out yesterday, but uh, finally did it today in terms of breaking that line of resistance from the beginning of June. Uh, that's running around the uh, $1.85 level, and while we're above that on an end-of-day close basis, we're looking for higher numbers. Uh, 243 is uh, the 200-day moving average, but the best case scenario here by the end of next month would be a move up to $4.50, uh, uh, which hopefully would basically retest the uh, early late May, early June resistance uh, that the shares achieved. This stage, only really back below, I suppose, the, the, the recent swing low, $1.35, really uh, killing the idea of a bullish development there. Uh, on to a stock which uh, has um, an interesting uh, name. Uh, here we've got uh, Concrete Pumping Holdings. Uh, I suppose it uh, does what it says on the tin, but uh, here we've had a nice uh, rebound, um, slingshot type rebound off the uh, uh, 50 day moving average around the $3.70 level. While we're above that, we're looking for higher prices. If you're cautious on the stock, maybe wait for uh, recent resistance at $4.24 to be broken on an end of day close basis, but it looks as though. The shares are on their way, uh, quite a sharp move up today, opening at the low and so far near the high of the session. Uh, and so basically a decent close of where we are now, uh, which is above the 200 day line, could take the shares up to $5.80 or so as soon as the end of next month. Stop loss uh, back below $3.70, which is uh, this week's uh, support area. Uh, next up, a stock which uh, is looking encouraging. Uh, uh, well, was looking encouraging, rather, Highway uh, Holdings. Uh, broke back below, uh, I suppose, that uh, neckline resistance there from uh, July. Uh, finding support there now, this uptrend line from June. And uh, that's around the $2.70 level, just above uh, the 50-day moving average. So while we're above the 50-day line, looking for a potential rebound in the stock to take it back up towards the top of that channel that I've drawn from February as high as $4 plus. If you're cautious on the stock, maybe wait for an end-of-day close back above $3, uh, that old uh, neckline resistance, uh, before considering the shares a potential buy opportunity. Uh, next up, we've got a stock which uh, I haven't looked at before, which is, uh, as I said, normally a good thing uh, for these situations. Uh, here we broke a neckline resistance. That's running around the $2.70 level. And uh, an end-of-day close above that, and ideally an end-of-day close back above the 200-day moving average at $2.80 uh, could open up the prospect of a move to that March resistance line projection currently pointing at $3.73 in the target. Uh, we would be looking to be hit uh, by the end of uh, next month. Uh, stock which uh, uh, has also got some uh, potential in terms of the upside uh, is... Uh, uh, Opgen, uh, the real issue here is whether the shares can hold on to that uh, line of resistance there, uh, which I'll just try and highlight a bit more, actually, because I can't see the, sh can't see the shares, but I can't see the chart very well. Uh, that line of resistance, uh, which has now become new support around $2.90, that was uh, resistance in uh, April, and uh, basically above that on an end-of-day close basis, or uh, $2.80 actually, two, uh, while we're above that on an end-of-day close basis, uh, the potential for retesting uh, the uh, early August peak at $4.46 and post-March resistance really towards $4.50 is still on the cards. Uh, stock which has also been um, uh, rather volatile of late is uh, Universal Security Instruments. Here everything depends on really this uh, $1.80 area. Uh, while we're above uh, $1.85, uh, which is that uh, support line zone uh, and yesterday's low, uh, on an end-of-day close basis, there's a potential of rebounding and uh, retesting the $3.50 area. Otherwise, you might have to have a deeper dive back down towards 
the 50 day moving average at 145, at which point uh, maybe uh, people who are looking for uh, a more attractive risk reward might take the plunge. Last stock of the day uh, coming up, uh, another uh, new face for us. And uh, here we've got West Water, which um, uh, is looking, I suppose, classically good. Uh, broken a triangle, also breaking the 50 day moving average at $2.29. An end of day close above that today uh, should be enough to give us another retest of the $3 area. We're looking for $4, which is the top of the rising trend channel from January. And at this stage, only really back below the 200 day line at uh, $2 really delaying the upside scenario. So uh, even if we don't get the end of day close today above the 50 day line, uh, plenty of wiggle room between $2 and $2.30 as far as the, sh the stock uh, consolidating and then heading higher. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.